Hey everybody, this is Mike from graphicstock.com. Just want to take a second and talk about a great feature that we have on the website, and that's editable text layer EPS files. Normally, when you download an EPS file from our website, you have to open that file in Illustrator, go in and find the text layer, and delete that object before you can edit it. Now with these specific type of files, all you have to do is replace this placeholder text here with whatever phrase you like. So we'll just go ahead and show you a quick example of how that works right now. You can search the website and any result that has the words editable text in that image name will be able to do this function. We'll go ahead and choose the spring image right here and download it to our computer and open it up on the desktop to start editing. Okay, so here we are on the desktop, so we're going to go ahead and open this EPS file in Illustrator. When you open the file, you'll get a pop-up that says this legacy text must be updated before you can edit it. You want to go ahead and hit update now and that will simply allow you to replace that placeholder text. You may get another pop-up that refers to font problems. All this means is that the font type that the artist used when originally creating the image isn't installed on your computer. So if you want to duplicate that specific type of font, all you have to do is download that and put it on your computer. Okay, so we'll hit open. And now our image is ready to be edited. So the only thing that we need to do is go over here on the left hand side, hit that T for the type tool, and go ahead and click on that placeholder text. Now we can change the text to anything we want. So let's say we're starting a plant nursery right here. So I'll go ahead and just type out Becky's nursery and then we'll go ahead and resize it. And there we go. Your text is all replaced and ready to go. Then you can also make as many other changes as you like, such as changing the background color, for instance, and we're all set. So the final step is just to export the image. We'll go ahead and name it nursery and save it to the desktop. So we just wanted to show you a quick example of those editable text layers on Graphicstock and how easy it is to customize those images. We hope you enjoy them, so thanks for watching, happy creating, and we'll see you next time.